Hi, I'm Karina and I work with the government of Alberta. This is my son, Samuel. Hi. These tests are easy to use and can help you feel better about sending your child to school. So let's find out how to use one. Remember to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before you begin. Get your child to wash their hands too. Now let's get our materials ready. Your kit comes with a test cassette, a sterile swab that looks like a Q-tip, a tube and a stand for it, a nozzle with a filter, and a little plastic container with testing liquid inside. You will also need to set a timer on your phone or watch. Make sure everything is at room temperature before you use it. Take the test cassette out of the pouch and set it down. Place the tube into the tube stand. If you are testing more than one child, it is helpful to label the test. Open the container of testing liquid by twisting the top. Then pour all of the liquid into the tube. That's it, you're ready to do the test. Ask your child to gently blow their nose into a tissue. You'll need a sterile swab. Make sure the tip of this swab does not touch anything. Tilt your child's head back. Insert the swab 1.5 centimeters inside your child's nostril. Be very careful not to insert it any farther than two centimeters. That's not very far. Move the swab in a circle inside the nostril for at least five seconds. Now press your child's nostril down against the swab. Spin the tip for five more seconds. Using the same swab, do the same thing on the other nostril. It's time for the last step, getting the results. Let's go back to the materials you set up on the table. Put the swab inside the tube. Tilt the tube so the swab is completely covered by the liquid in the tube. Mix it really well and squeeze the tube against the swab 10 to 15 times. Place the tube with the swab back on the tube stand. Set timer for two minutes. When two minutes are up, pinch the tube so you squeeze as much liquid as possible out of the swab. Throw the swab into the garbage. Place the nozzle on the tube. Make sure it is on properly. Turn the tube over and squeeze three drops of the solution into the spot mark S on the test cassette. Set your timer again for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes are up, it's time to check the results. The result is positive if you see two lines, one next to the C and T on your test cassette, even if the line is light colored. If the result is negative, you will only see one line next to the C. A negative test result does not rule out COVID-19, so your child should still follow all public health guidelines. If something went wrong with this test, you won't see any lines or you may only see a line next to T. If this happens, throw the test away and start over. You do not need to report the test results to your child's school or Alberta Health Services. That's it, we're all done.